Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Waylong WRM 2021 Cubing Home Edition. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I am going to be unboxing this cube. Just a quick note, this is actually the light version. They actually stopped selling the regular cubing home version. I did want to get the light anyway just because it's cheaper. This was actually a birthday present, so I didn't pay for this. I'm really happy I got this cube. I've heard it's better than the GAN 11M Pro, and that's my current main. I am getting a bit sick of that feeling. The GAN 11M Pro is definitely a nice cube. It's very expensive though, and I just feel like I've been using it for a bit too long, so I just want to move to something else. Hopefully this could be my new main. I've heard really good things about about this cube actually so again i'm hoping it could be my new main this cube i believe is like 30 something dollars it's definitely way cheaper than the gan 11m pro this cube is the one that has the core magnets i'm assuming it will look something like this as you can see we have a core magnet on the piece that goes to the middle of the gan 11m pro i believe it will pretty much look the same on the way on wrm 2021 being home edition light but yeah that name is like just ridiculously long as you guys may know cubing names have been getting like really ridiculous lately like with the r3m 2020 plus and like other things that are just like really long names but it's not really the point of this video so let's get into the cube I'm like kind of ripping the box here Okay, so we have the cube in this really nice box. It still comes with the light edition, which is actually kind of surprising to me, but yeah, it's a really nice box. We also have an accessories box in here and a Project CM card. This thing looks really nice. I really like the design of it. Okay, and then here's the accessory box. Now, just a quick note, this is CH and this is CM. I'm not really sure why. I do not know why it's M versus H, but the C is the same. I have no idea why the M and the H are different. And in the accessories box, it looks like we have these little tension things. I have no idea what these are. I think they might be help to get the cube back together. We have the spring compression thing. These little black things, which I've heard break really easily, but hopefully I'll just need to use them a couple times. Oh, and then I don't know what this is, but we have two screwdrivers. This one except doesn't have this thing so i have no idea why maybe you're like supposed to put these things in here or something and finally we also have this thingy i think it tells you how to put the box together yeah this is actually all in chinese or no well this part isn't i have no idea what again this, these things do something about the core i guess and we have another pamphlet which just appears to be a three by three solving guide so it looks like it's a three by three solving guide we also get some mo sponsors on the back side it's basically just the same thing in just in Chinese. But yeah, if you don't know how to use the Moyu tension adjustment, definitely use this. I already know how to use it, so I'm not going to be paying attention to this. And I just realized actually that both sides have Chinese and English, which is good. We're now getting into the actual cube. Okay, so again, it comes in this really nice box. Never had one of these cubes before. It doesn't feel too luby on the outside, but it has like a really nice feeling pulling it apart. Feels pretty nice. But before I actually touch the cube, I'm going to try to make this stand, which I don't know how to do. Okay, guys, so it looks like the stand actually goes like this it's an okay stand not amazing though and this actually does not appear to be part of it but it's just a really nice case where you can store the cube see i really am impressed though that this comes in the light version it's not like the r3m where it just doesn't even come with plastic wrap even though that is pretty wasteful i'm glad that this doesn't come in plastic wrap because it's just really unnecessary like the chi ms comes in like two layers it's just really unnecessary but let's do first turns So right out of the box, I do like the feeling of this. It feels really nice. I know that this cube is supposed to be a bit smaller. I can't really notice a difference. It feels really fine to me. If we take a look at it, yes, it does look like it's slightly smaller than the 11M Pro. It's really not a noticeable difference to me. This one feels a lot more crispy in comparison. This one feels just kind of like a better version of the RS3M, honestly. But I definitely think this could be my new main. It feels really nice. So um, just taking a quick look at the customization, we have the magnet system here and it goes from one to five. It looks like it's currently on three. The magnets to me feel a bit weak. I'll probably turn it up to four or five. I've heard people prefer five the most, but because of the fact that these tools break very easily, I'm not gonna try to do it that much. Taking a look at the tension, it's just a regular MoU tension adjustment system, which I actually personally like. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's just very simple. It looks like this is actually at one. I'm going to adjust it a bit because I usually like the springs to be a bit stronger. 
Okay, so that's adjusted up to the fifth setting. I would say I like this definitely a bit more, but I do think it needs to be loosened at these settings. I might turn it up like one more, but it feels pretty nice to me right now. But let's just go get the center caps back on. Now, one thing I definitely do like better about this cube versus the 11M Pro, this is like a minor thing, but the center caps on this cube are just impossible to get off. It just like hurts your hands and they're even worse to get back on. But this cube, even though the center caps aren't great, they're still a lot easier to get off. I wish they were like the R3M though, those were like really good. I'm definitely impressed by this cube. It feels like a lot better than the R3M to me and hopefully it won't strip. Before I end the video, I'm just gonna do a quick solve. It's just gonna be untimed. Just to see how it feels to me, I am going to definitely be setting this up. I may make a setup tutorial. And That was definitely not the best solve, but in my defense, I was looking through the camera, so it was going to be worse anyway. But yeah, I'm definitely impressed by this cube. Again, I'll be setting this up, and hopefully it will become my new main. I definitely think it has potential, because it definitely has a different feeling than the 11M Pro. And the other thing I like about this cube is it's not so light that I feel like when I corner cut, it's going to break it. Speaking of which, the corner cutting appears to be pretty good, but definitely needs to be loosened. Another important note is that I am going to be getting the Tornado V2 soon, probably, so I probably will make a comparison between these two, but I have a feeling this one's just gonna win just judging by the reverse corner cutting it seems to be better than what it looks like the tornado is anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like subscribe and see you guys in my next video